There it is. There's the boot. That one is way out of the end zone. And it will be an automatic touchback. The Indians will start first and 10 from their own 20. All the way to the fence, Kiss. Elk and Trussell. We're just about ready now to see the first series of downs. Coming out wide to the left for the Blacksburg Indians will be Richie Crunkleton. They've got a flanker right. They operate from the pro set this time. Crest at quarterback. Now back to the eye. Trussell back there at tailback. Chris takes a snap from center. They give us to Trussell. Trussell gets some running room, but he is stacked up in there by Chris Patton. Three-yard gain. It'll be second down at seven. Just underway here at Mitchell Stadium in Bluefield. Second down. Catch the number. They operate from the eye. Chris barks the signals, takes a snap. They give it to Trussell again. He's caught in the backfield and eaten alive. Tony Young in on the tackle. Marcus Latimer in on the tackle. And Eric Bogan Robinson for the G-Men. He was smothered that time on that, on that left side. Chris, who can throw the ball effectively, takes a snap from center, looks to throw. He's got a man open. Puts the move on her man, but he is smacked in there. Tony Palmer and David Lawson put the whammo on number 31. And that is uh, Eddie Sloss who made the catch. The punter is Mark Mathena for the Indians. He stands at his own 10-yard line. Good snap from center. Low kick, but it's a long one. Tony P takes it at the 33-yard line. He's to the 35. He's got some blockers following his blockers. Tony gets up to the 42. It'll be first and 10. G-Men. Tackle was made in there by Jim Ginnikinney. Jim Ginnikinney. Patton at quarterback, barks the signals, takes the snap, and the give is to Grubb, and Grubb's got some running room. He's up over the 47 to the 48. Tackle was made by Brian Richards of the Blacksburg Indians. It'll be his entire year, but this is a horse of a different color in the Blacksburg Indians. They've got a good defense. Here we come. Mike Patton, the quarterback, takes the snap. Gave us to Latimer. Marcus looking for a little running room. Gets about uh, a yard or two. The tackle was made by David Yoder of the Indians. We'll see where they mark it. It'll be a third down situation for the G-men. Michael barks the signals. Takes a snap from center. They gave us to Latimer again. First down. Latimer with some running room. Latimer will be caught at the 39. Check that 41-yard line of Blacksburg. First down, G-men. Big hole. And just a little bit more uh, running room, and that would have been a touchdown. Saving tackle made in there. J-Men from the wishbone in the Blacksburg 42. Patton barks the signals, takes a snap. Benches back to Ricky Brown. Brown looking for some running room. He's got some around his side, and he's being dragged down at the 35-yard line. The tackle was made by Jerome Trussell from the collar. Wishbone, Ryan King coming out wide to the right from the wishbone. Mike Patton barks the signals, takes a snap. There's the give to Palmer. Palmer in the middle, breaks it out to the left side. He's got some running room. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, G-Men. Tony Palmer, Tony Palmer hit the line, got hit, broke it outside, and it was all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. He was gone, bye-bye. So, with 7.37 remaining first quarter for Tony Palmer, his first carry of the evening. And once again, he has scored from way out. He did that last week against Richlands. It is 6-0 with 7.37 remaining first quarter for the extra point. Here is the snap from center. It's a good one. The kick is up, and it is good. With the score, the G-Men 7, Blacksburg nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. If you're a Grammar Tazewell fan, you won't want to miss The Bash Before the Clash. This Wednesday through Friday, Ramey and Tazewell is sponsoring the school that bashes their car the hardest wins a trophy. Plus $100 in cash from Ramey. Ball here on Graham High School football on Country 106 and WKEX in Blacksburg. There's the kickoff. It comes down to, uh, let's see, Chadwick, rather Hardwick. Hardwick gets it back up to about the... Let's see where they mark it. I believe about the 23 or 24 yard line. Let's see. Tackle was made. Played on dry field. Richie Crunkleton and Lloyd Zelazny wide to the left. They operate from the eye. Chris at quarterback. 
Marks the signals, takes the snap, the give us two. He's dropping back the pass. Good fake, and it is overthrown, intended for Lloyd Zelazny. Zelazny in the flat, broke it out. Guy, Chris, the quarterback, up over center, takes the snap, hands off to the first man through, and he's got some running room. It will be a first down. David Kellogg in on the carry, and the tackle was made by Tony Palmer, wide open. Maybe the G-men are keying on Trussell, Dan. They can't do that tonight, Kiss. They got in Crunkleton. They operate from the eye. Ball on the 34-yard line of Blacksburg. There's the snap from center. Dropping back to pass again as Chris rolling left, looking downfield, almost intercepted. Almost intercepted by Tony Palmer, and the ball was intended for Mark. And wide to the left is Zelazny. From the eye, Chris from the 34-yard line, second down, 10. Takes a snap from center. The give is to Kellogg, and he is smothered in there by Lance Barber. Lance Barber on the stunt. Came through that wide open offense from the eye. Christ takes a snap, dropping back to pass, looking downfield, still looking, and it is overthrown out of bounds, intended for Lloyd Zelazny, and that will bring up a fourth down situation, and they will have to punt, and it seems to be working on the passes, but they're just not getting the ball to the receivers. To punt in there is, uh, let's see, Mathena again. He gets off a, a low punt. Comes down to Ricky Brown at the 35, to the 40. He's up to the 45. Ricky's still on his feet, and he'll be tackled at the 46-yard line by the Indians. Tackle was made in there by number 30, Brian Richards. A couple of other Indians in on the tackle. Friends and fans down there at Blacksburg, WKEX AM 1430. <laughs> here come the G-Guys, first down to 10 from their own 46-yard line. Patton pitches back to Tony P. Around the left side. Farmer with another beautiful move. Unbelievable move. By, there is a flag on the play. Flags on the play. That that uh, play was uh, designed to go around the left side, and Tony Palmer broke it. Okay, they mark it back now. The G-Men look at uh, first down and 18, which is strange to me, Danny. Patton takes a snap from center. They give us to Latimer. 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 Latimer with some running room. Latimer gets it up. Almost to midfield. He'll be knocked out at the 49. Will not go down there. But some good running yardage there for Marcus Latimer. Ricky Brown checks out of the football game for the G-Men. Johnny Grubb checks in. <clears throat> We're at 450. And they look at a second down six situation. The ball on their own 49-yard line. Mike Patton barking the signals for the G-Men. Michael takes a snap from center. Pitches back to John Grubb around the right side. Grubb Let's with go. a good move. Grubb with a beautiful move. He's up to the 40 and all the way to the 37-yard line of the Blacksburg Indians where he is stopped in there by David Yoder. Excellent blocking to the right side that time, Kiss. From the bone, Ryan King checks out wide to the right. Mike Patton takes a snap from center. They give us to Palmer right up the middle. Palmer gets a few yards up to about the 34-yard line. It'll bring up a second down situation. Johnny Grubb checks into the football game with the play from the sideline. From the bone, the G-men. Patton takes a snap from center. Pitches back to Tony Palmer around the left side. Tony breaks it back Go across ahead. the grain. Another flag down on the play. I didn't catch the call there, Dan. <laughs> Wide receiver left for the G-men. Patton takes a snap from center. Looks to pass, but runs the draw to Ricky Brown. Brown with some running room. Brown still on his feet. What a carry down to the 30-yard line of Blacksburg. What a run by Ricky Brown. Beautiful, beautiful. Mark Messina, and they chomped at the bait that time. The G-Guys break from the huddle. Patton up over center, barks the signals, takes a snap, throws to Palmer on the pitch. Palmer around the end. He will be short of the first down by a smidgen. Tackle is made by Jerome Trussell. I don't care. It's all close. They're going to call a timeout, I think, for measurement. It is an official timeout. Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. I told you it was just a smidgen. <laughs> from the wishbone, the G-men. 
Michael Patton up over center. Marks the signals. Takes a snap, and he picks up the inch first down. Chris Stacy and John Grubb check into the game. Palmer. First down of 10. Here we go. Patton from the 25 takes a snap. Pitches back to John Grubb around the right side. Grubb was almost tripped up. He'll pick up a yard of the play. Tackle was made in there by Eddie Sloss of the Indians. And we look at 120 remaining in the first quarter. I didn't want to see his ugly face, and Lily wasn't around. Well, I stopped twice. Well, you're a nice guy. Here we go. Second down to nine G-men from the 24-yard line. Patton takes a snap that gives to Latimer. Latimer will pick up maybe a couple of yards. Some uh, extracurricular activity down there between Todd Litton and Chris Stacy. The tackle was made by Daniel Kellogg. There will be a, a gain of, uh, here we come, G-men. Third down nine. Patton, the quarterback, takes a snap. On the option, Patton keeps it. Patton is close to a first down, but he will be short as he needed to get to the 10, and I believe he got it to just short of the shy of the 10. DA in Bluefield, Virginia. USDA boneless choice chuck roast $1.59 a pound. Third bone. Patton at quarterback, marks the signals, takes a snap. They give us a pitch back to Tony Palmer around the left side. Tony will be smothered. He may have lost a yard on the play. Tackle was made by number 77, Todd Linton. Also in on the tackle, Mark Mathena for the Indians. No gain on the play. 12. Patton at quarterback takes a snap from center. They give it to Latimer up the middle. Latimer gets it down to about the seven or the six yard line. Good pickup on the play and a great tackle by Brian Richards of the Indians. Chris Stacy checks into the game. David Lawson fans listening to us. G guys break from the huddle. They'll come from the Harold and Wishbone. Patton at quarterback takes the snap from center and the give is to Tony P up the middle. Tony's got the first down, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be first and goal to go from the one or two yard line. Tackle was made by Todd Litton. That was a shoestring tackle and they just saved him from going on in for six, yes. They mark it at three, looking to put six on the board right now, or at least get that first down. Patton takes the snap, they give us to Latimer. Touchdown. Touchdown. We picked up the first down and six. All right, that was Tony Palmer in on the carry instead of Latimer. Tony P with the score from three out. That's his second touchdown of the evening. So with 10-28 remaining in the first half, the G-Guys, 13 Blacksburg zip. Mike Patton to do the holding for Ricky Brown. Why those guys do all that fancy stuff, Danny, before a few, uh, rather an extra point, I'll never know. Well, they need to practice, Cass. I understand. Here's a snap from center. It's a bad one. The kick is up, and it'll be wide to the right. Okay, look out. Flag. There will be a roughing the kicker called on the Blacksburg. The next break, we'll catch that score on the Cubs-San Francisco Giant game, and we'll give it to you in just a few minutes. Here we go. Patton will be looking to put two in this time. Michael barks the signals, takes a snap from center, and it's a rollout, and he overthrows Ryan King. Why? He, Ryan King was wide open in the end zone, and not only that, Danny, Mike Patton could have walked into the end zone that time. That right side of the field was wide open. It looked like a boot. Uh, tee it up as Ricky Brown is down there teeing the football up as we speak. Ricky approaches the football, and boom, it's a high kick. It's going to be fielded by Trussell at the 5. Trussell brings it up to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. He breaks it through the hall. There's one man to get him. Tony Palmer catches him at the 40-yard line. Otherwise, Blacksburg would have had six on the board, but once again, it would not have been against our defense. It would have scored by the J-Mans came on a 15-play, 63-yard situation. 63 yards and 15 plays. Here come the Indians wide receivers left and right. Chris, the quarterback, takes a snap, gives to Kellogg, the first man through. He is tackled by Tony Young and goes nowhere. Tony did smother him that time. The Indians, second down 10. 
They'll operate from their own 40-yard line. Chris, the quarterback, barks the signals, takes a snap, looks to pass. He's got a man. It is complete in here to Mathena. Mathena knocked out of bounds by Ricky Brown and David Lawson at the G-Men 43-yard line. That was Eddie Sloss on the reception. That was the hitch pass. Hitch pass, if you don't know what I'm talking about, is to the left side of the field in two of them. They operate from the eye. Christ at quarterback, first and ten from the G-Men 44. Christ barks the signals, takes a snap, drops back to pass, rolling left, looking downfield. He's got a man, once again intended for Sloss, overthrown, incomplete. In on the coverage was Ricky Brown and David Lawson for the G-Men. That'll bring up second and ten for the in. Birch goes wide to the right. Crist at quarterback takes a snap to give us to Trussell. Trussell with some running room. Not fooled in there. He tried to fool Ricky Brown with a sidestep, but he picked up some yardage in uh, about eight yards. Eddie Caffrey also in on the tackle for the G-Men. It'll be third down and two for the inning. Crist at quarterback takes a snap. He'll be tackled. He will not get the first down. Lance Barber once again. Lance in on the tackle. There will be no gas. Big play here. Chris up over center. Barking the signals. Chris takes the snap from center. Looking to throw. It is complete to Sloss. Sloss fights it, I believe. Yes, he picked up the first down. Got it down to the G-Men 29-yard line. And some good, good, good fighting in there by Eddie Sloss. Attack from the pro set left this time. Chris at quarterback takes a snap, gives to Trussell. Trussell being hit in there by Ricky Brown, along with Eddie Caffrey. They'll mark it at the 25, the forward motion. <coughs> they come from the eye, Chris takes a snap from center. Chris gives to Trussell. Uh-oh. Trussell looking for some running room. He'll be tackled in there by Tony Palmer at about the 17-yard line. So Blacksburg now starting to move the ball real effectively. They'll look at a first down and 10 situation. And Chris at quarterback, up over center, barking the signals. Takes the snap, looking to throw. He's got a man in Sloss again. Sloss is dragged down at the G-Men 10-yard line by John Grubb. This time, a little button hook. It'll be second down and one, and Blacksburg, Brad Birch. Blacksburg to operate from the pro set left with Kellogg and Trussell in the backfield. Chris, the quarterback, takes a snap. Chris on the keeper. Will be knocked down at the nine-yard line. I believe he will be short of the first down. It's going to be awful close. Like you said, Danny, they're mixing the plays up good. It will be a third down situation. Third down and one for Black to the left. Crunkle again, wide to the right. Pro set left. Chris at quarterback from the nine. Chris rolling left to give it to Trussell. He goes nowhere. He is smothered. Absolutely nowhere, and it will bring up a fourth down situation. Eric Robinson once again in on the tackle for the G-Men, and Eric gets up limping a little bit side of the field in Sloss and Birch from the eye. Chris at quarterback. Barks the signals, takes a snap to give it Uh to Trussell. He trips. He trips. I don't believe he'll pick it up, Danny, because they'll mark it where his knees hit. It is a G-man. First down, I believe. They hailed hailed him, Ken. The G-man have held the Blacksburg Indians. Another Unbelievable. And takes a snap. The give, I believe, was to Tony Palmer. Tony will get it up to about the 12. It'll bring up a second down situation. He is smothered in there by the whole right side of the line. First downs thus far, thus far for the Blacksburg Indians. They've got four. We have got six. So Black 21 to 20. David Lawson goes out wide to the left for the G-Men. We operate from the wishbone. Mike Patton with a second and eight situation. Patton gives it to Marcus Latimer. And Marcus broke it up to the 20, the 25, and he is just tripped up in there. A saving tackle. 
was made in there by one of the Indians, and I'm not sure which one it was. I believe marked the ball at her own 28 with 3.49 remaining in the half. From the wishbone, that was a big play. Chris Stacy coming out wide to the left for the G-men. From the wishbone, Patton takes the snap from center. Gives uh, once again, I believe, to Latimer. The tackle was made by Daniel Kellogg. It was Latimer on the carry, and Marcus did not get anywhere on that carry. That was a fierce tackle. Joins Latimer and Palmer in the backfield along with Mike Patton, the quarterback. Mike, Stacy coming out wide to the left again. Patton barks the signals, takes the snap from center. The give is to Tony P. Tony's got a little bit of running room, gets it up over the 30 to 31 yard line. The tackle was made by Todd Litton of the Indians. And we look at third down and six as Grubb comes in with the play from the next week in Tazewell. That'll be a Friday night game. G guys break from the huddle with third down and seven. Patton at quarterback takes the snap from center. The give is to John Grubb on the misdirection. Grubb is tackled. It'll be fourth down, and we'll have to punt it. Punting team checks into the game. The tackle was made by Danny Kellogg of the Indians. We'll drop back to their own 35-yard line. A relatively good snap from center, and a pretty decent kick gets off. Let's hope it takes a G-man bounce. It does not. It takes a Blacksburg bounce. And it'll be down in there by Lance Barber at the 43-yard line where the Indians will take over first down to 10. First half. Top great uh, series in the playoffs he's having so far. Flanker left, wide receivers, two of them to the left. Chris at quarterback, takes a snap from center, looks to throw, looking downfield. It is intercepted. intercepted. Beautiful interception intended for Trussell. Intercepted by Tony Palmer at the G-Men 35-yard line. Beautiful, beautiful. The girls from Little Caesars are here. Ladies, we're going to have to ask you to just bring this stuff in and, and check on out. Beth and Kathy. Beth and Kathy. First down of 10 G-Men from their own 36 with 49 ticks remaining first half. Here comes Patton dropping back to pass. Looking downfield, Patton still looking on his feet. Patton will run it. Patton has got it up over the 40-yard line, out to about the 43. Good pickup on the play. Clock continues to run. Hey, Dave. Dave Litz, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen Lewis in on the tackle for the Indians. We look at 13. Let's set the stage. Jimin looking at a second and two situation. We got the ball on our own 44. The score is 13 to zip. Two TDs by Tony Palmer, a 34-yard touchdown and a three-yarder. One PAT good. Patton takes the snap from center. There's a mix-up in the backfield. The game is to Palmer. He's got the first down to midfield. Tackled in there by Blacksburg Indian number three, Zipola, and that is Brian Richards. That was a mix-up in the backfield, Kiss, but it sure worked there for some good yardage. Sometimes those mix-ups work good, but usually, as you probably can tell us, David, you'd rather have it a clean handoff. 24 ticks remaining in the half. G-Guys with the football at midfield. First down at 10. We operate from the pro set right with a flanker left. Patton takes a snap from center, drops back to pass, looking downfield. He's got a man, and Ricky Brown and is almost intercepted by Trussell, who read that one all the way. Trussell laid back, played it safe, and just as Patton let loose of the football, Trussell did a little dance down there in front of Ricky Brown to knock it down. And if he'd have caught it, Danny Little, Ryan Sticky Fingers King goes out wide to the right. Chris Stacy wide to the left. We operate from the bone this time. Patton, the quarterback, takes a snap. Once again, dropping back to pass, being rushed. It's a screen in the middle to Latimer. Latimer with some blockers. Latimer's got the first down with three ticks remaining. Two. And let's see. We got the timeout. With two ticks remaining, got a G guys will call a timeout, I believe. We'll be kicking the football from about the 27 yard line. So it'll be 37 yards from there for the three. Here they come with the fancy dancy stuff. 
Ricky from the 27, looking for three, looking to make it 16 to nothing. If the snap is good and he gets a good kick, he can do it. There is the snap from center. It's a good one. The kick is up. It is no good, just off to the right. That will end the first half of play with the score of the G-Men 13 and the Indians nothing. Fantastic defensive effort by the G-Men there down there uh, way deep in the trenches when the Indians were knocking on the door. The scoring went as follows early in the first quarter. Tony It's where they'll be. Blacksburg to the left, Graham to the right. And we're just about ready to get underway here in the second half. Probably some of that good old Little Caesar bread that we were eating there. Got y'all confused, Kiss. There we go. There is the kick. It is coming down to Johnny Grubb at the 10. He's at 15 to the 20. And Grubb is smacked in there. It'll be knocked down at the 24-yard line. We got it cleared up. Tackle was made by Anal Asrani. And he was cream too, Kiss. So it'll be first down at 10. G-Men just underway here in the second half. They mark the ball at our own 24-yard line from the wishbone. Ryan King goes out wide to the right. Patton takes the snap from center. They give it to Palmer through the middle. He's Palmer the running room. Palmer on the way. Palmer kicking it up all the way to the 44-yard line of the Indians. And there is a Blacksburg man down. Tackle was made by Eddie Sloss, and Sloss gets up slow, saving tackle. Beautiful shoestring tackle on that kiss. That was Patton barks the signals. Michael takes the snap to give us to Marcus Latimer through the middle. Latimer being tackled by the jersey. Tackle was made in there by number 62. That was Matt Ankrum for the Blacksburg Indians. He lies right from the huddle. We look at second eight. They mark the ball at the 41 of Blacksburg from the wishbone. Michael Patton takes the snap from center on the option. Rolling right. Michael will keep it. Mike around the right side. He's got some running room, and he's knocked out of bounds by Jerome Trussell close to the first down marker. It is a first down a G-Men. Tonight, he really doesn't have to either, but he's doing it. First down and 10 for the Blacksburg 34 from the bone. Patton takes the snap to give it to Palmer. Wide open hole on the right side of the line. And Tony looks like he picked up about six yards. It'll be second down and four. Tackle made by Brian Richards. Ricky Brown checks out of the game. And okay, here we go. Second down and four for the G-Men. 948 remaining third quarter. G guys on top, 13 zip. Patton at quarterback, barks the signals, takes the snap. Roll, rolling left, Patton on the keeper. Patton finds a hole up the middle. Patton's down to the 10, and seven yard line. First down and goal to go. Trussell saved that one, Ken. Trussell's made a couple of saves this evening. And exactly what head coach David Chris said was gonna happen is happening. Mike Patton is running the football tonight and he's doing a real fine job of it. It's G guys from the wishbone. Patton takes the snap. Not sure who he gave it to that time. I believe it's Palmer. Grub checks in, Brown checks out. G-Men out of the huddle, Patton up over center, marks the signal, takes the snap, and goes to pitch back in a beautiful play in there. Patton will be sacked in there on the option. Tackle was made by David Yoder. Big play for the Indians. Beautiful play that time, kid. And we're back to that old that up. Third down and eight. Patton takes the snap from center to give it to Latimer up the middle. Latimer has got it up to about the three-yard line for the G-Guys. Line is straightened out again. The tackle was made by Danny Kellogg. They mark it at the three. It's fourth and goal from the three. And the G-Guys, I believe, have a right to two goes from the three for the G-Men. Patton at quarterback. Marks the signals, takes the snap. They give us to Palmer around the left side. Palmer 
trying to get in the end zone. He is held at the one. So, with fourth and goal from the three, the G-men decide to go for it. Tony Palmer gave it everything that he could, but after he was hit initially, there were a couple of other Blacksburg Indians in on the play. Mark Mathena made the initial tackle with help once again from Dan Kellogg. It'll be first for the Blacksburg Indians. There's the snap from center. Russell will be stacked up at the two. Nowhere to go. He was smothered that time, Kent. Tony Palmer, Tony Young, Lance Farmer, Eric Robinson, Chris Stacy, J.J. Caffrey, all in on the sloss wide to the right. Indians second down 10 from their own one, 6-16 remaining third quarter. Chris, at quarterback, takes a snap, looks to throw on the fly pattern, overthrows intended for Crunkleton, who was open, Danny. He was open there, but he just couldn't get to that old football. So it'll be third down at 10 as the Indians in desperation now, and Birch wide to the left. From the eye, they will operate. Chris, at quarterback, marks the signals, takes the snap to give us to Trussell, Trussell with some running room. He will not get the first down. They'll have to punt. With six minutes remaining in the third quarter, he is shy of the first down by about two yards. So the punting team checks in. Tackle was made by Ricky Brown. Ricky playing a great defensive game tonight, Danny. Played a super game. The 45 of Blackburg. There's the snap from center. It's a good one. A nice kick. Tony Palmer fields it, fair catch at the 44, and it will be first and 10. G-Men, good field position at the 44-yard line of Blacksburg. The crazy bread, Little Caesars, best in town. Wishbone, Patton, first down to 10 from the 44. Patton gives the ball to Palmer. Palmer with some running room and sidesteps his first down all the way up to the 29-yard line of the Indians, tackled by Mark Mathena. Tony Palmer has turned into one of the best, if not the best, back. And here's our uh, difficulties again. First down at 10. G guys takes the snap to give it to Palmer. Palmer up the middle to the 19-yard line. Mark Mathena in on the tackle for the G guys. John Grubb brings in the play from the sidelines. We apologize for the technical difficulties. G guys break from the huddle. It'll be second down at inches. From the Blacksburg 19, 445 remaining third. Patton takes the snap from center. They give us to Latimer. First down. Latimer all the way up. Watch him. He will not go down. down. They will not get him down that time. Marcus has got the ball to about the 13-yard line. First down at 10 G guys. Tackle was made or no. <laughs> First and 10 G guys from the Blacksburg 14. Stacy comes out wide to the left from the wishbone. Patton at center, takes a snap, pitches back to Ricky Brown. Brown with a run around to the 10. He's to the 5. Touchdown. Touchdown. Beautiful block over on the right side by Tony Palmer that sprung every bit of it, Ken. Absolutely beautiful block by Tony P. And a great run by Ricky Brown from 14 yards out. Touchdown. And the G guys go on top now, 19 to nothing with 4.07 remaining third quarter. Pat set the hold for Ricky Brown, who will go for his third extra point tonight. First one was good, the second one was no good, but there was a rough in the kicker call. Here is the snap from center, it's a good one, the kick is up, and it is beautiful. Through the uprights, with a score, the G-Men 20, the Indians nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Some rest the other guys, or you can reel in some real seafood from Seafair in Bluefield, Virginia. Seafair. Indians. Ricky approaches the football. He kicks it. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be taken by Trussell at the 7. Trussell to the 10, the 15, the 20, 25. Trussell, and there ought to be, but there wasn't. A flag thrown there, Danny. It looked like a face mask to me. Trussell gets it back up to the 34-yard line. I tell you, Trussell is making some fantastic runs in these kickoffs, Kiss. And uh, let's see. Zelazny wide to the right. 
They operate from the eye. Chris did quarterback. Takes the snap from center. They give us to Trussell. Trussell goes about a yard before he is stacked up by Chris Stacy. Also in on the tackle was Brian Denham. And uh, let's see, David Lawson also. They operate from the eye this time. Second down eight. Chris barks the signals, takes a snap. Looks to throw, incomplete, underthrown, intended for Zelazny, who took a few steps over the line of scrimmage. With a flanker to the left, one lone back. Trussell is the flanker. Chris drops back to pass. Trussell is wide open, but Chris is sacked in there by Tony Young, Eric Robinson, and Brian Denham. Check that, that was not Brian Denham. That was Roland Pascas. Ricky Brown and Tony P back at their own 35. There's a snap from center, beautiful snap. Nice kick, Brown will take it. Brown is to the 45, and Ricky gets it up to midfield before he is dragged back and tackled in there by David Yoder. So it was a line drive short kick, and Ricky Brown went for it. Brown for wishbone. Patton, barking the signals, takes the snap to give us to Tony Palmer. Palmer breaking tackles, close to another first down. Trussell makes the tackle for the G-men and a saving one at that. And Tony Palmer gets up a little slow this time. Tony having a great game again tonight. Patton. Takes the snap from center. The gives to the first man through, Chris Stacy. Stacy, I'm sorry, that was not Stacy on the carry. It'll be close to a first down. The carry was uh, made by Marcus Latimer. And he was smothered that time. Or scored from 14 yards out just a couple of minutes ago. Third down and one. G guys break from the huddle. Patting up over center. Barks the signals. Takes the snap. Pitches back to John Grubb, who's caught in the backfield. Great play made in there by number 61, Danny Kellogg. I mean, take this. He's been all over the place down him and Messina. Yes, he has. And, of course, there are two Kelloggs playing. There's David and Dan on this football team for the Indians. Hey, they've got a great selection of 90 model mobile homes. And, boy, I tell you, you're going to love the floor plans and decors and all that. But if you really want to save some big money, you can do it right now. Taste. Chum of McDonald's. McGrill. For a limited time and participate in McDonald's. You wanted a sale, and Ramey Toyota says, here it is, an 89 Cressida, stock number P69, sunroof, and all the options, original price, $23,295. Ramey Toyota price, only $17,795. You save $5,500. An 89 Corolla LE, stock number P74, automatic air conditioning, AM, FM radio, original price, $12,740. Ramey Things that you need for your family or home. Make it Kirk Drug, and you'll be glad you did. I'm Scott Morton from Little Caesars Pizza, Bland Street in Bluefield. Now, we weren't around in the 60s, but we still practice that personalized service, and we still have a 60s-style price. And by the way, we do have the best pizza in town. Try us tomorrow or give us a call tonight at 325-8111. That's 325-8111. here live ladies and gentlemen some technical difficulties uh, I'll try and run down what has happened to you in the last uh, three or four or five plays first of all the G guys went to punt the uh, snap was over the situation we look at for Blacksburg at the Graham 43 with wide receivers 
Two of them to the left side, one flanker left. Chris dropping back to pass, looking downfield, and he's tackled in there by Lance Barber. It'll be fourth down. Chris arguing with the referee, saying that possibly there was uh, some pass. They're doing the shoot and run now, Danny, for the first time this evening. Dropping back to pass is Chris, being chased, rolling right, looking downfield. He's got a man open. Oh. Almost completed that one to Mark Mathena, the tight end at the 10-yard line, just out of his reach. It hit his fingertips. And the G guys will take over first and 10 from their own 46 with exactly 10 minutes remaining in this football game. Out of 10 G guys, we operate from the pro set right this time with a flanker right. Patton, at quarterback, takes the snap, drops back to pass. It is almost intercepted. Michael was smacked in there, and the ball hit James Langback right in the bread basket, and he couldn't hold on to it. David Kellogg was the one that caused that almost interception. It's been 23 quarters now. The G guys have not been scored on. Pro set again with a flanker. Patented quarterback gives to Latimer. Latimer gets a couple on the play. Once again, a mix up in the backfield. We've seen that a few times tonight. Danny, I, I can't tell you, and, and of course, and I'm sure that you Blacksburg fans can identify with this, can't tell you how they were unbelievable as well. Wishbone, patented quarterback, third down and nine. Mike takes a snap, gives it to Latimer. There's a flag on the play. Latimer's close to the first down. Flag in the vicinity of where the holds take place. We will see what the call is. It is a hold. And it is against the Burgundy and gold, the G-Men. David, for about two or three minutes in there, I talked to him on the phone for about a half an hour. I'll tell you a little bit about, about that after this play. Third down and 18, wide receivers, two of them to the right side of the field, pro set right, G-Men. Patton on the reverse to Palmer. Palmer is tripped up in the backfield by Danny Kellogg. Check it, David Kellogg. So the G-Guys will punt anyway. In talking with head coach Chris, one of the questions I asked him to his son that he would never say to another football player. Pat, or rather, Brown gets off a massive kick to Trussell. Trussell will be smacked in there at the 36-yard line with a market. First and 10, the Indians. The tackle was made by Lance Barber of the G-Men. We look at a first and 10 situation for the Indians. At any rate, Denny, what he said was after about Four games, 10, Blacksburg. Chris dropping back the pass, looking downfield. Uh -oh. Going long. It will be incomplete. It was intended for Richie Crunkleton. On the coverage for the G-Guys was Johnny Grubb along with Ricky Brown. The Thank ball was you. underthrown by about seven or eight yards. And from the eye, Trussell is back in there. Chris takes the snap from center, drops back to throw, being chased. It's a screen to Trussell, and he kicks in, knocks one, knocked David Lawson away, but Chris Patton and Marcus Latimer were there. They had that set up real good there until Patton came across there. Picks up a desperate now. Chris dropping back to pass, being chased by Eric Robinson, still being chased. Robinson shoestrings him, and then he's finished off in there by Chris Patton. Son looked pretty quick in there that time, Dan. Hey, I didn't know he could run that fast. Only when you got that big leather. Trussell will be flanked to the left with the lone back in David Kellogg. Chris takes the snap from center, looking to throw. Rolling, rolling, rolling. It will be almost intercepted by Tony Palmer. Intended for Crunkleton, and the G-Guys will take over first down and 10. I tell you, Tony's disappointed. Our good folks to deal with. I did smell a devil egg. <laughs> 6 18 remaining in the football game. First and 10, G guys. There's the snap. Patton gives to Palmer. Tony up the middle to about the 30 yard line of the Indians. Super running in there this time. Just a little bit uh, in the background. She, she started into the second verse. Second down and two. Ball on the Blacksburg 31. Patton at quarterback takes the snap. The game is to Ricky Brown. 
Brown gets it back, I believe, to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down. Number 61 again, Cass, Daniel Kell Kellogg's. As of yet. It is third down and about one, third down and one or two. Patton takes a snap from center, and the give was to Latimer. He's got the first down and some, and they'll mark it at about the 23-yard line of Blacksburg. Surface checks out. Grove checks in. The tackle was made by Dave. The Indians, Patton, up over center. Michael barks the signals, takes the snap from center. They give it to Grubb. Ran the left side. Grubb breaks one tackle, breaks another tackle, still on his feet. Flags and everywhere. Is that a flag, Danny? I believe it is. No, it wasn't. It's a towel. It was a towel. It was Grubb's towel. They grabbed the towel instead of his britches. 18-yard line with 350 remaining in the game. Mike Patton, the quarterback. Mike takes a snap, and Mike takes it up the middle. Mike takes it up, and the touchdown! touchdown! Michael Patton on the quarterback keeper. Took it in from 15 yards out. KD, and the big block came from Eric Robinson, the center. And we've got six more. It is 26 to zip here with 340 rem that was an 18-wheeler going about 75 miles an hour, folks, and it blew the doors off the Indians that time. Set to go for the point after touchdown. The snap is good. The kick is up. It's no good. So with the score, the G-Guys 26, Blacksburg nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Some restaurants will go to great lengths to try and make a little seafood look like a lot. But it's seafood and a lot of something else from the other guys. Or you can reel in some real seafood from Seafair in Bluefield, Virginia. Six to nothing. That uh, drive was six plays, 39 yards, 15-yard touchdown by Mike Patton. And Ricky Brown kicks it to Trussell at the one, to the five, to the 10, to the 15. Trussell still looking for running room. Tripped up in there at the 25-yard line by Ryan King on the tackle for the G-Guys. So Ryan gets in his two cents against Trussell this evening. Their Indians first down at 10 for their own 26. Wide receivers, two of them to the left side of the field. Rolling left is Chris looking downfield. Uh -oh. And he throws right, right. He's got a man open, but overthrows. That was a beautiful play. It was intended for Trussell. They had us faked out, and Trussell probably had he caught that ball to the right from the eye. Second down 10. Chris dropping back to pass, looking downfield. He'll run it. Chris will be, he'll run out of bounds at the 40 yard. That was a beautiful play. It was intended for Trussell. They had us faked out, and Trussell probably had he caught that ball to the right from the eye. Second down 10. Chris dropping back to pass. Looking downfield, he'll run it. Chris will be, he'll run out of bounds at the 40-yard line. It'll be enough for a Blacksburg first down, and it'll stop the ticker. I believe that's the first time he's run it tonight like that, guy out of the pocket. Their own 40 with three minutes remaining. Two wide receivers wide to the left. They operate from the eye. There's the snap from center. Chris gives to, ah, oh, he's still rolling. And he'll be tackled in there by Eric Robinson, I believe. Yes, Eric Robinson in on the quarterback sack. So the old Bogan guy caught up with Chris that time. Indians in the hurry up offense now. Wide receivers, two up to the left. From the eye, Chris at quarterback, takes a snap, rolling left, looking downfield. He had a man in uh, Crunkleton, but it was intended for Eddie Sloss down the sidelines, incomplete. And that'll bring up third down at 15 as there was from the eye. Chris, desperate to get something going now. Drops back to pass, pumps one okay, time. Fumble. Will they call it a fumble or an incomplete? Yes, fumble. It is a fumble. As Chris went back to pass, he was rocked in there. And it was a fumble, they're calling it. I believe if I was a ref, Danny, it would have called that an ink 35. First string still in. Brent Surface is in the game, however. Pat gives the ball to the first man through, and Latimer, once again, Marcus will not go down. We're under two minutes to play in the game. 
checking in. He's a distant relative of uh, a football great for Graham and uh, the NFL. The give is to Brent Surface. Surface gets a few yards. It's going to be third down and about five, depending upon where they mark the football. The tackle was made by number 31, Eddie Sloss. And uh, Caffrey checks into the football game now for the G-Men. Also, get a lot of Caffrey and uh, Stacy in the backfield. Check that, not Stacy. The give was to Caffrey. In the backfield also for the G-Men is Chris Cox. Now here comes Brent Surface. And also coming into the game is either Randy Moore or Charlie Stilder. We got two 83s. Also in the game is Jeremy Carbaugh at center. Carbaugh at center. 29-6 remaining in the game. Fourth down two for the G-Guys. Dudley takes the snap from center. <laughs> Can barely get that handoff to Brent Surface. It will be a fourth down, I believe. Eight, one lone back, flanker right. We're from the shoot and run again for Blacksburg. 18 ticks remaining. Chris dropping back to throw. Looking downfield, being chased. He'll be sacked in there. No, nope. he breaks the tackles. Chris now running down the sidelines, looking for the out of bounds. He may make it. Yes, he, he makes it out of bounds at his own 40 with seven. Right now. And wide to the left, Zelazny wide to the right, pro set left. Chris at quarterback, drops back to pass. Looking downfield, throws the bomb, and it will be incomplete. And that will be the end of the football game. Final score from Graham High School's stadium, Mitchell Stadium. The G guys, 26, Blacksburg nothing, 24 quarters of football, and the Graham High School defense is still unscored upon. What a game by the G guys. Offensively and defensively, Danny, I can tell you now the truth. I thought coming into this game that there was a good possibility we might get beat. I thought for sure we'd get scored upon. And uh, then I, I, I had the same feelings, Cass. I stopped, uh, stopped down to uh, get me a doctor.